We don't need ruby slippers, a seminary degree, or the spirituality of Billy Graham to overcome the world and all that is in the world. Because the one who is in us is greater than the one who is in the world. Amen? From the studios of the Ram Cave, in the home of the camellias, I'm Joe Tarosian, and this is the Burbank Faith Virtual Good Morning for September the 4th, 2024. As always, we are praying for our young people. This is episode number 302 of A Ministry Without Parole. Today we're going to be in 1 John chapter 4, verse 4. Happy to be here. I'm, I got on at 8.07. Um, not bad, 8.07. I'm, I'm within 10 minutes of 8 o'clock, so I think I'm okay. Uh, just, you know, you get up earlier, you got people at home, you got to share the bathroom, that kind of stuff. Uh, it takes, uh, yeah, it takes, uh, it takes a certain synchronicity you have to work out there to, to get everything set up for eight o'clock broadcast but here we are and i'm not doing it with a baseball cap on so here we go first john chapter four verse four and this is what he says you dear children are from god and have overcome them because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world the application here is john is speaking about false prophets and false spirits that have gone out and continue to go out and deceive and he sends this clear message the one who is in you me is greater than the one who is in the world the one who is in you us we me uh, is Christ the one who is in the world is the devil Satan Lucifer the serpent the old dragon intelligent evil we don't need ruby slippers a seminary degree or the spirituality of Billy Graham we overcome all of the world and all that is in the world because of the one who is greater the one who is greater than uh, because of the one who is in us is greater than the one who is in the world. Our lives are to be ones of freedom and victory. And every attack, every assail on us or our families or our churches is an effort to take away our freedom with chains of anger and to diminish the victories we've experienced and to have them devalued. In Romans 8, Paul reminds us that we are more than conquerors. And here, John reminds us that we are from and belong to God and we have overcome, can overcome, and will overcome all the world throws at us by remaining steadfast in the knowledge that the one who is in you, us, is greater than the one who is in the world. This is what we want for our young people to recognize, right? So they won't be beguiled by smooth, flattering words or cool, round, pear-shaped tones into believing they are common and have no power and no authority through Christ. We want them to be encouraged and courageous and to have the grit to keep going forward in the Lord, never settling for the soul-soothing and ego-building false community of counterfeit compassion, to develop the ability, not by emotion but by knowledge, that God's word is true, to avoid all conformity with the sensibilities and hopelessness and vanity of our present culture, to be optimistic about the future. So when face-to-face -face with the spiritual hostility of this world, they will be unmovable, unshakable and undefeated in him and absolutely terrifying to those opposing Christ in the spiritual realm. Looking alone to Jesus, living in his strength, they, we, us, you, me, will always be victorious. But this is why we pray for our young people. Amen. To know that the one who is in them is greater than the one who is in the world and that they can recognize that as they go on to those campuses today and face the things they're gonna face in all those places, the assault spiritually that's gonna come through the mouths of the teachers and the curriculum and the campus themselves. And so we pray for the Lord to go on ahead of them and uh, into their classrooms, surround their classmates, bless their teachers who know the Lord. We're praying that those, those teachers would have courage to stand up in the face of all that society uh, is trying to bend them into being. We pray that for our police officers, that they go past the authority sometimes of what their politicians, who are, who are very corrupt, that they would do the right thing, that our politicians would do the right thing, that they would, they would sense of what is being done is evil and go against whatever it is they need to stay employed or keep their election status going, but they would do the right thing and trust in the Lord. Pastors do it all the time. There are times we just have to do the right thing, even though it might hurt us personally in the moment. We need to do the right thing and go forward in the Lord. And we need to do that for our culture, for our society, but especially for our young people. So let's pray for our young people today. I want to pray for my brother, Darren, 
uh, Kim Dedini. We want to continue to lift up Kathy Ingersoll and her husband Steve. Uh, we do believe Kathy's mother, Ethel, passed away. She was 86 and on the hospice in Steve and Kathy's home. We want to pray for a young lady we don't know. Her name's Cindy. She's got brain surgery coming up. And of course, old friends Christy and Corey, who lost their son a year ago, but we, uh, we were praying for them. Christy recently lost her uh, nephew a few days ago. So in the last few years, she's lost her mom, her nephew, and her son. So, uh, so uh, there are a lot of pain there for, for uh, Christy and Corey. So they could use some of God's love, as Mr. Burns says. So let's pray, and then we will get you guys on your way. I realized, I, I guess I spoke kind of fast today. Sorry, sorry, just trying to catch up. Okay, let's pray, and then I will get you... Uh, on there. Leanna Bloom, thank you so much for clicking on. And uh, Janine Watkins, thank you. Yes, pray for our young people. Or are you saying for your young people there at Morrow Church? We're praying for all of our young people. Uh, drop me a line, guys, if you have any prayer requests, updates, or praises. Happy to continue to pray for all of you. Lord, we do ask for our young people today, God. We pray that, Lord, that you go ahead of them into the classroom, Lord, and that you silence the voices that speak evil, that regurgitate the madness of the spiritual realm. Uh, Lord, that you give our, our teachers courage to say no. Those that know you, Lord, let them, let them rest in the fact that, that you dwelling in them is greater than those that dwell in the world, Lord. And it may make things rocky. It may make things tough. But but uh, it made things rocky on the disciples when they had to go out and preach the gospel. It makes things rocky on all of us when we have to share truth, Lord. But give us the courage to share the truth, especially, Lord, when it comes to our young people and all that they face. Lord, go ahead of them onto the campuses, into the classrooms. Uh, blow apart the curriculum, Lord. Uh, you're bigger than the Internet, God. Take away the stuff that um, would harm our young people, Lord. But also at the same time, Lord, build in our young people a spirit of discernment that they can see the fraudulence of this world and see again and recognize the grace, the peace, the love, the hope, the eternal, and the joy that is found in you. So we pray for our young people today. Lord, I, I do pray for my brother Darren. Pray for Kim Dedini. We lift up the Ingersoll household. Lord, we pray for Cindy in her coming brain surgery, Lord. We ask for Christy and Corey. And Lord, we pray for all the others that are out there, Lord, that uh, we are waiting for updates on, Lord. We ask your blessings upon them. We ask your blessings upon our country, God. We pray for wisdom. We pray for your spirit to have its way, Lord. Uh, we pray for, for hope to remain, and we pray for revival to happen, Lord. And we pray for our politicians to be humbled, Lord. And we pray, Lord, um, that those who, uh, who come to do us harm, Lord, would uh, be touched by your spirit and their lives would be changed. Lord, uh, again, we thank you for everything you've given us, Lord. Bless us this day and all the days going forward. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, look at that. Eight minutes. I guess I spoke too fast. I guess I raced through that. I apologize, guys, if I raced through too quick. But uh, Leanna, Jeanine, or whoever's there still right now, please, and anyone else that clicks on later, hit the like button, hit the share button if you can, and, uh, and uh, we'll put this all across social media. I've uh, got a big day today. We're doing some work around the church uh, and uh, excited about some of the things that are happening. Okay. God bless. Take care. We'll see you tomorrow. Uh, and um, have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye.